summer with these guys. Uh, how much growth have you seen over the summer, and how eager are you to get to November 7th? Uh, well, I think you heard it from our guys. I think our program's one in which we we feel like what you do every day is more important than what you do every once in a while. So for us, it's a, just a matter of enjoying this journey that we're on, having a deep sense of gratitude for uh, where we get to do it and whom we get to do it with. So I'm excited just to, I mean, today's the official start of practice, but we've been going at it since mid-June. So, uh, But I'm excited to have a little more time with them. Um, but I, I like this group. I, it, it, they're hard not to uh, to love, just because you, know, you you saw a testimony of that in Darius and Kyle. That's that's this group. They're tremendous to be around. So it's a privilege to be able to uh, start practice with them today. Coach, I'll ask you the same thing I asked them going into your last season in the eighth Sun. Uh, had a lot of success there. Kind of you know got Liberty basketball on the map a little bit nationally. Um, you know, what are your thoughts as you head into the final season in the eighth Sun? Just from you know what the time has meant as a, as a yeah. program. Yeah, I, I think Ian's uh, pursuit of getting us in the ASUN was uh, tremendous for uh, our athletics programs. And we are a benefactor of being in a really competitive conference. You remember that first year, the Lipscomb games were unbelievably competitive, and I, I really think that helped prepare us for uh, the NCAA tournament. So um, I, I think when those guys were answering a question, uh, they said, or someone asked, it was the first time you haven't won a championship. We actually were the East Division champs last year. Thank you. Um, but it, it just speaks to what our guys have accomplished, that that's not even what people acknowledge anymore. Like, if it's not a conference tournament championship and a berth in the NCAA tournament, for whatever reason, maybe it wasn't as successful. And I just think – I think our guys have created a little bit of a monster that way, and that's why I think Darius said it best. You know, criticism and praise are very closely related. And, uh, and if you live for uh, the, the praise, you'll, you'll die. If you live for their praise, you'll die by their criticism. So we, we really take the approach of, hey, this is our lot, and we get a chance to exit the A-Sun uh, in a way that we want to compete for the championship. And if we're good enough, great. And if we don't, uh, we won't be defined by it. Uh, but it is certainly a part of our pursuit. The second year players, guys like Brody, JV, where have you seen the most growth for them year one now to heading into year two? Yeah, you guys have been around here enough to know what I'm going to say. The longer you're in the pack defense, the better you get at it. And we've seen evidence of that. Even I, Isaiah, Joseph, are they're really, really good individual defenders, but they've also uh, – expanded their uh, their prowess as team defenders, which is an important piece uh, to our equation. And Brody's just gotten stronger and better, and he hasn't cut his hair since uh, since last season, so maybe that's – maybe he's got some David to him. Uh, was it David? Yeah. Samson, sorry. Um, yeah, my, that's my <laughs> biblical. Um, but I, I think his improvement is twofold. Defensively, he's – significantly better and then offensively he's gotten a little bit more aggressive and for Brody that's a that's saying something because he's such a nice kid and wants doesn't want to let any of his teammates down so I, I, I hope that continues to evolve. Coach when you see guys sit up there like that like Kyle and Darius just did and it's so apparent that they've kind of taken ownership you know in a, in a good way of this in a day of transfer portals and guys moving all over the place, to see guys that have stuck around and, and have helped build something here, does that give you a sense of pride? A uh, sense of appreciation, for sure. Uh, Kyle Rhodes is one of the best leaders I've ever been around in my life. Uh, irregardless of his age, that kid is unreal. I, I'm telling you, the longer you get a chance to spend time with him, he'll, he'll be a – incredible success at whatever endeavor he chooses to be a part of post his basketball days. Uh, and then Darius, we've talked over and over again about what it says for him to return. I think it speaks volumes to not only Liberty and um, but what, what our university 
uh, provides in terms of student athlete experience, but also to his teammates. Like the fact that he wanted to journey with them one more year for the hope of having a chance to get back to the NCAA tournament. I, yeah, grateful is the way I would describe it. Coach, I think I know the answer to this question, but with all the national attention around Darius, I know he's a pretty humble guy, but do you see it possibly being a distraction or him measuring what those expect, high expectations are for him? Uh, fair question. I, Darius has this – like, like Darius – plays the game in slow motion, if you know what I mean. Like he, There's not a whole lot that I've ever seen that have uh, sparked the reaction. Um, and although I think it's natural to, when you get that spotlight shine brightly upon you, I think it's natural to have some angst. But if there's one person that I think could appropriate it effectively, it'd be Darius McGee. Like I, I really think what he said to you, that he doesn't compare himself to other players nationally, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, I think his desire to want to win and advance uh, is really authentic because he wants his teammates to experience what he's experienced over his the course of his time here. And, uh, and I think he's pretty intentional about that pursuit. And, uh, and he's, he's got a gift to, to maybe see if that can't uh, manifest itself during the coming season. Pretty good reclassified point guards. Wow. Fair. Uh, yeah, I, I think both those players will uh, contribute to uh, our cause. They're, they'll add depth, certainly, and um, I think you'll enjoy watching them play.